Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday to all of you. Uh, today this will be shorter video. I think it will be shorter video. Since I have one topic only uh, to, to discuss here. And that is the one and only Mr. Sergei Lavrov and his speech at the General Assembly in the United Nations in New York City. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something that we all have to be reminded again that we are indeed in a very, very important pivotal point of the human kind history. He said many important things yesterday. Uh, I attached the full speech of his that I found translated into English on my community page. So those of you who would like to follow his words and listen to entire speech, just uh, go to the community page. Also, I might attach the link below this video. So just scroll down. Very, very powerful speech. Uh, I was very, you know, I'm always impressed by Sergei Lavrov, but how he was able to deliver so much of truth in one speech and emphasize the importance of this moment that we are living it is truly uh, honorable and remarkable. So what I would like to tell you today guys is this. I will start with I will start with his uh, last words that I found very important. Then I will go to the beginning and then I will tell you a little bit from uh, Polish media, how they responded to the speech. Well, not really responded, but maybe what they emphasize on mainly. So he starts the, he ends the speech with this, Mr. President, addressing this to the President of the United Nations. Mr. President, today humanity, as it has done in the past, is at the crossroads. It is entirely up to us how history will play out. It is in our sure interest to prevent a downward spiral into large-scale war, to prevent the final collapse of the mechanism, mechanisms for international cooperation that we put into place by our predecessors. I will start here, then it's another part. Um, when he was saying this at the end, I had very strong sense that reminded me about this uh, spiritual war we are in. And we are really in a breaking point right now because we can shift into so many timelines. We can create so many realities from here. It's very, um, it's even hard to put into words how important this moment is because every decision from now on can create completely different future and reality for humankind. And I feel that energy very strongly and the, the time that we are living in, all of us are here, that we signed up for this. It's a not easy time. It's a very challenging time, but we all have the role to play here. I know this is strange maybe what I'm saying to some of you. It's Sunday, usually Sundays are free-flowing videos that I create. We have to remember that we can all participate in holding the energy of peace and stability, not destruction. Some things has to fall apart, but it does not have to involve that of people and of civilization. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. We are very important here on this platform to all of you guys who are watching me. You bring so much energy into this, good energy, and uh, you spread love and you spread peace. This is what we have to do. Those are people who we might never meet in person, like Mr. Lavrov, like people who are fighting this fight with evil and you might never meet them you might never shake their hand maybe you will wonderful fantastic but if you send the energy to support 
this fight for good, you have no idea how much it means. I sidetracked, but I hope you're okay with that. He continues, if we want peace and prosperity based on, equ on equality and solidarity, then leaders have a particular responsibility to achieve compromise when designing our common future for our common good. Those are the words actually from Antonio Guterres, who is the Secretary General of the United Nations and Sergei Lavrov was mentioning this, was bringing this, uh, those words uh, up. And he continued, Lavrov, this is an excellent response, those that quote, to those who divide the world up into democracy and autocracies and dictate the more colonial rules to others. The beginning of his speech had this part. There is a new world order being born. Our future is being shaped by a struggle, a struggle between the global majority in favor of a fairer distribution of global benefits, that part of the world, BRICS, and civilized diversity and between the few. So we have the BRICS and between the few who wield neo-colonial methods of, uh, sorry, neo-colonial methods in order to maintain their domination, which is slipping through their hands. The collective West has a calling card and it has long been to reject the principle of equality and their total inability to reach agreement, being used to looking down at the end of the world. He went through the history. Um, it started with, I think, 1945, but he was also talking about the level of support that the West gives to Nazis. And that's why I would like to encourage you, if you have time, it's about 20 minutes speech, I think, to listen uh, to that speech. The translator is really good. She's translating this very well and very quickly you, you hear the words. So it flows. It's not difficult to listen to that uh, translation. Very, very powerful speech he gave. And in uh, Polish media, I came across this, what they emphasize on his speech. The United States is directly at war with Moscow, said uh, Sergei Lavrov. You can call it whatever you want, but you won't change reality. Lavrov added, this is from Polish media, Lavrov added that the US is effecti effectively involved in hostilities with Russia, using Ukrainians as cannon folder. Cannon folder. Moreover, Lavrov assessed that it is the Western countries that provoke and lead a war against Russia. In this context, he mentioned that United States is responsible for it as well as the Great Britain. So here you have someone who in such a classy way, it's so hard to find in this world right now, you know, people with class and people with depth and brain and compassion and intelligence to speak the truth and to present this to the world. It takes a lot of courage, a lot of discipline, a lot of determination and a lot of... I think in, in his case, if I will end this video here, Sunday Vibe video, guys, it takes a lot of awareness that he has a purpose here in this lifetime. This man has been given incredible Incre his path, his path is incredible path, because what is he doing? He's the voice. He's the voice for millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people around the world. Billions, actually, you can say, billions of people, to hold this energy of not bending down, standing in your truth, expressing this to others, and being criticized by that, having that evil energy coming on. One has to know that he is protected by God. 
that no weapon formed against him will ever prosper because he represents the country. And I believe Russia's role in this time in human history is unlike any other country. I really do. It doesn't mean that every citizen who lives in Russia is a perfect man. No, there is evil there too. Someone actually put this in the comments a while ago on my Instagram. They said, why I idolize Russia so much. I don't idolize Russia. Why I like Russia so much, like if everything is perfect there. It's not, it's not true. I don't know the entire country. I have my own experiences there. And yes, I see, and some people, of course, you know, you see the flaws, but then you ask yourself, maybe, I, you know, you see reflection of yourself. What I'm going with this is this. I responded to that comment in this way. Why I speak about Russia so highly is because, or Moscow there, because I see more good than evil. End of story. And we have to focus on this good. Because we fuel the energy, we support this, and we know that at the end God wins. However, we are in a breaking point right now. So, very different video. I hope you are still with me. I wish you a wonderful Sunday. Today, as I said uh, yesterday, we have meet up here in Larnaca, Cyprus, 5 p.m. Cafe Nero, right by the beach. You find the address in a previous video, so the video before this one. Yeah, those who can come, thank you so much for your time today, that you willing to meet me in person. I am looking forward to meet you and wish you a great day. All the links to find me, my locals community, Instagram, Rumble, uh, and as well as my mailing list, you find down below this video. Lots of love everyone. And remember, we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. Bye guys.